Hello, YTPC. Craig at Hiking Pipes. Uh, it's Friday still. This is the second video that I am doing today. Um, our snow has stopped outside here, Baltimore, Maryland, and uh, it was kind of much ado about nothing. Uh, we did have some snow coming down, but it petered out, and uh, it's relatively gone already. So, go figure. <laughs> Weather people, right? Um, I just... I'm making this video as just a quick video, second video of the day. Uh, again, apologize about the lighting on my face with the backlighting behind me, but um, this is uh, kind of a, just a quick acknowledgement and a tribute to Matches 860 John Harding. Uh, as such, I am smoking my Friday Savinelli commemorative pipe. Thank you, Eddie at the Pipe Nook. This is number 50 of the 860 that he was able to spearhead and coordinate with Savinelli. I am so very happy to have one of these pipes. I smoke this without fail every Friday and I have been doing so since I have uh, acquired it. Now, I don't have Haunted Bookshop, but another pipe blend that was, uh, John was very fond of and kind of turned me on to personally is this McBaron Burley London mixture, uh, or London blend, I should say. So that's what I have in my pipe today. What's going to happen this evening is all briared up, go check out his channel, is having a commemorative Matches 860 uh, live stream tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, so I would encourage everybody to tune in for that. Um, I'm going to light this up a second time this evening. After I finish this bowl, I'm going to give it a rest for the remainder of the day, and uh, I'm going to light it up with the same blend that I have in here now. The one story I guess I have that I can say personally that I have with, or had with John was John was very influential in my pipe smoking. I, he was one of the first presenters that I tuned into with YouTube when I started getting into pipe smoking. And um, back then, I you know, was still trying to figure out kind of what I liked and what I don't like, and I'm still figuring that out now. I think it's a never-ending journey. But um, I had acquired two tobaccos that I just really didn't care for, and that was McBaron's Plum Cake, and I was in my local brick and mortar and saw this esoteric uh, Pembroke, and after hearing about, you know, this unicorn brand of esoteric, uh, I saw that brand, and I was like, okay, I'm going to pick up a tin, uh, not even really knowing what it was about. Um, both of those blends contain Latakia, and, or Latakia, depending on how you like to pronounce it, and I'm just not really a big lat guy. Um, so I really didn't care for either one of those blends. So being a faithful listener to John, I you know did reach out to him and uh, we shared some email back and forth and uh, let him know that I had these two tobaccos um, and would he like them? I'll send them to him. And he was very gracious and said, yes, he'd be more than happy to, you know, take those from me. So I did send them to him. On John's last live stream, which was January 24th, 2020, um, it was nice. I, he showed that uh, he did receive the tobaccos, gave me a, a shout out. At the time, I didn't have a channel, so it was just Craig. And um, I really appreciated that. I guess, I don't know if he had an opportunity to actually smoke either of them um, before he passed, so I hope he did, but um, that's, uh, that's something at least I can take with me and keep with me is that a person like John, I did have some contact with him, I did receive, you know, acknowledgement from him. And for that, I'm grateful. So, again, to John Harding, a very nice man, a, I guess what would be considered a legend in our YTPC, 
may his memory never fade. And again, as a reminder, please tune in to All Briared Up this evening, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. He is dedicating the hour of 7 to 8 o'clock Eastern Time as John's Hour, which I think is a very nice, sentimental um, tribute. So, hope to see everybody then. Thanks again for watching. Be good to each other. Be kind. And we'll catch you hopefully very, very soon. Take care for now.